from Daytona Beach, Florida. I am Arkma. I'm Rayon. And I am more than happy to announce we are live with top four of Melty Blood Actors Again, current code. And we are in for a treat. We've got some really great players here on display. We've got a heck of a loser's run happening right now in loser semis. You are not going to want to miss it. Um, we ran a 15-man bracket. Everyone showed up. I want to shout out everybody here who showed up because I can't tell you how many brackets I've had with DQs. Um, we are all here. This is a community effort indeed. We're going to see here our winners' finals and losers' semis matches. First up, Prof signed up, I believe, a few days ago. Super excited to be here and absolutely fiending for training mode and games. And meeting him is Gear Dragon, our local Florida hero, a Melty Blood type Lumina and Actors Again champion here going neck and neck. And on our loser size, Antigone, who lost in semis to Prof on their way back after beating Vale 2-0. And Lemon and Lime on an absolute run of their life, losing round one to Ran, and now working all the way back up. We are in for a lot today. And shout outs to Antigone. He's like uh, one of my buddies from Tallahassee, real chill dude. Uh, you're in for some uh, cool Seawar uh, Kia gaming going on soon. But first, we got to get to our winners. And Lemon Lime, also shout out, they are a champion of multiple games. I'm excited to see when they come up here. I believe also in the Lumina bracket. So a lot of a lot of cross-pollination going on here in terms of games, and we love to see it. We truly do. Uh, shout out to, also to Lemon and Lime for uh, getting that run back on me later on I'm, in the bracket. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> at, at, at part of that's on me. You know what? Uh, sometimes we, we seed and we hope for the best, and sometimes... All the players here are cracked. That's just what happens. It happens. It happens. This is a this is a game where a lot of uh, players just uh, yeah. It just happens. It, it be like <laughs> and I, I think that kind of speaks to oh my gosh! Can we look at the camera work for a second? This is shout so beautiful. Shout out to our shout out to the camera guys here by the way. Shout out to like all the people running like production here. Uh, they are truly the backbone of every major. We all talk about TOs. We all talk about the players showing up and uh, supporting their games. But really, we should be giving a special shout out to production. Oh, yeah. They've been holding it down all weekend. Without these guys, we would have nothing. And shout out to Red Bull. They're like they're everywhere. They they be sponsoring they everything. Everywhere. I'm pretty what? sure I've had what? like Where six the, Red Bulls. Does the money really just come from people buying their crap? Wow. Um, not not, not yeah, crap. Okay. I mean, I mean it, 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 crap slash positive. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Since I've been at CEO, I've probably had like six or seven mixed drinks with Red Bull in it. I've never had a Red Bull before. I, it's just one of those things where like I'm not used to having it because I'm a coffee drinker. Mm -hmm. But I have had it, and it tastes pretty good. And I think as a mixed drink, I thought it would be more adverse. But no, it's actually pretty nice. Um, we've had a few specials actually going down in the bars. Um I think I had the something funny haha -ha Ken based. <laughs> so I um, I had one of those earlier today in between uh, the top four and the original bracket, and it was very good. But All here right, we looks go. like we're getting into things. We got C. Roa versus C. Vakiha. C. Roa, y'all know him. Uh, Honest Mids Michael puts you into like a bunch of blocks done, uh, just like, has everything. C. Vakiha, when people talk about Vakiha, they usually talk about F. Vakiha because F. Vakiha has like great damage on top of uh, absolutely messed up mix-up potential. But shout out to Sivakiha for, for putting her own uh, in in here as well. I've yeah. been on the receiving end of Gear Dragon Siakiha and oh my god, it's Same. scary. Same. But here we go. Love yeah. this map. And we are going right into it. First round. Alright, they're... Okay, so they're, they're feeling each other out there in a little bit. Okay, we got one orb. Alright, there we go. Now it's gone. Ooh, the jump to JC counter hit. Oh, and then the JTC. All right, going right. to set up the keep corner blocking, pressure. Got out of the corner. Oh, nice dodge there. Oh, my God. Is he getting hit? Oh, the combo. All right. Ooh, nice call out there. Gear Dragon is absolutely cooking right now. With the Momiji loops, too, and setting pit, keeping him locked down. Oh, the mash with the but bloody. Matter, burst. The burst saving him, allowing oh, him to keep the corner. Shield. Oh, it's his corner now. <laughs> All right. Now, this is, I think, where Roa is so scary here. I set up all the things, and now I keep you in the corner. Get out. 
all that blocking at the do. Oh, doesn't hold it. This is rough for Gear here. Needs to find a One way more. out, oh, but no. There's no way out. No, there's oh, they no way out. The no way. Gear Dragon, it was looking so good. It's that graph of it's so over and we're so back. It's so Jover, guys. We were so back. All right, Orb in neutral. Uh, oh, the auto tracking on the orb. That's something you have to really watch out for. That's tracking you like when you switch your sides. Oh, nice hit there. All right, sets up all the orbs there. Gear Dragon's movement was looking so good. Oh, shields the orbs. Oh, fair spot dodge. All right. Leveling up. Okay. All right. Oh, oh wait. the DP. <laughs> what a call out. Oh, but he dropped the call. Very frantic situation going on here. Oh, the heat bait. Oh. Gear Dragon oh. is just calling Get out. Get the accidental reset into setting pit. Okay. Keeps the corner there. All right. Good pressure. Good pressure. All right. Activates pit. A lot of blocking got to do. These two are just making each other block. That's how this is the matchup. That's literally just a matchup. Oh, Ooh, nice, nice throw. In the setup oh, again. The TK. Oh. Uh, all right, there we go. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Gear Dragon's chasing. Another really interesting thing about Vakiha that makes her really good is her movement. Two air dashes, and they both go really far. However, all that movement, all that mix, all that blocking she makes you do comes at a great cost. Her health is the worst in the game. But it doesn't matter. Gear Dragon, Gear Dragon showing takes up. it confidently. Great showing, game one. That second round. Was, was like so scary. It felt like a shark just chasing down someone. That first round, though, like it was all over the place. It was like you could really feel the ebb and flow of the game there, just based on whose corner pressure was it's there. Really frantic. But I'm really interested to see. Um, I feel like Prof was getting called out a lot early. This is where the adaptation comes in. How are we gonna move oh, around to what Gear Dragon okay. is looking for? People talk about Melty Bud being air footsies, and you, you saw that earlier there. Okay, now we get to the advantage state. Ooh! Omiji loops? Okay, no, it just goes back to setting uh, 2 on 4. All right. Okay, all right, blocking, blocking. Ooh, oh, just going right GC. in. Love to see it. Oh, the trade. Oh, nice pokes. Gets the counter oh. hit. This is going to be big damage. Hit. Sets up. He's blocking. Nice throw there. Oh, that's big damage. Wow. The pressure that Gear Dragon puts on is immaculate. All right, round two. It's on Prof to look for a way out of this immense pressure and offensive by Gear Dragon. I would like to note that this is first to three. So Gear Dragon needs to win two more games here to make it all the way to Grands. So there Ooh, is some breathing nice. room. Oh, doesn't get a finish. Just, the combo there. Oops. Mashes out and then blood heat. Okay. Are we gonna cash out the meter there, or are we just gonna like let it rock? Oh, oh gets that would have been so close. It to, was so to tight. To such a messed up situation there. Oh, what? That's a rough spot to be on the rough receiving end of hit counter hit. Box. Oh, and that's five, nearly five k damage on there. You gotta keep on blocking all that shit. The guard gauge is going down. The X guard. All right. The X guard. That's how you save your guard gauge. Ooh. Oh, gets the hit in super. For that. All right, sets up. Pit. All right. Oh, oh my gosh, she got the bait, but wasn't able to. Bait, but didn't get the convert. Oh, got to get. Oh. Oh my gosh. Keeps blocking. Keeps blocking. Prof fighting out of the corner. Oh. One more situation. One more mix. Yes for game. Keep blocking. Oh! Oh my gosh! And he got it! What a trade! Beautiful. That is exactly what you want if you're prof. Now it has to take this next round to take Ooh. a game, but it's so doable. 3k damage. Really bleeding here. The momentum, it feels so much like it shifted. Nice block. Oh, the EX shield, but it doesn't matter! J2, I mean, it's 2C! Okay. Oh. He's blocking. Is opt the ground reset that Rowan can cover with his air dash. It's just this guy can just do it all. Great mix, great movement. Can like use the lightning to zone. I mean, when you've lived that long, you oh. can probably figure it out. Oh, good heat. I'm gonna try and figure a way in. Still get the conversion. Oh, my corner now. All right, still needing to build the meter. Oh, loops. And I think the meter's there. Set pit. Gotta keep on blocking. Gets no, the low. no more blocking. 
We saw we saw a comeback by Prof last round. Is Gear Dragon? Gear Dragon? If it's possible. Oh, the 6C. All right, keep him there, keep him blocking. Oh, the oh, lightning! Doesn't finish oh, off. Wasn't even real. Heat, get that life back. Oh, it's so block. little though. Oh, the back hit of the lightning. Prof, great job securing that game. One, and one. We still got way more to go. Uh, hot set. We are in CFL, so hot set alert. <laughs> alert. <laughs> Notify your local hot set authorities. It's Florida, too, man. We're, it's double hot. Oh, my gosh. It's been raining, like, in and out. It's so hot. Tell me about it. All right. Now we got round three. All right. Game three, I mean. Ooh. Oh, that juicy J2C. Just ran in and need him. All right. That's two and four. All right. Nice rebeat pressure. Oh. All right. Gets a super. Sets Spends up the that ground. Meter. Oh, he needs to get out of there. He's not dealing with that anymore. Nah, no, he's back in the corner. I love Put how the lightning like, right behind him. I oh, love the oh my shield. god. The panic shield. Oh no. This is insane. I love how aggro Gear Dragon is when he gets knocked away from oh, Roa. The throw. The oh. six C. <gasps> Perfect. Perfect. Gear Dragon is on a mission right now. He is putting no brakes on his winner's side train. Oh, that 2C hitting, the J2C hitting like that, no way. All right, just keep some matching for OTG. Oh, the reset. Sets pit, all right. Oh, blocks the overhead. All right. All right. Michael on the road, gets the laser. Gonna just do some more setup. Ooh, looking for an air counter. Got the air counter hit. Pit. Oh, goes for high low. Oh, okay. All right. The rebeat pressure here is insane. Oh, and the base. That's a Sivaki of 5A. That was a very domineering All right. game. 2 1 Gear Dragon favor. We still have, at the very least, one more left. And who knows? Maybe Prof can get the comeback. Game, game five. four, Prof? G game four. <laughs> This isn't Smash Ultimate. We can't. We can't say. It. Oh my gosh! I mean, it, the game five is definitely possible, and Prof could totally do it. But Gear Dragon's offense is just insane. Oh, the movement! They're feeling each other out a little bit more. All right. Okay. Oh, the whiff punish! Got the lasers out. Oh, oh. there it is again. Gear Dragon. Oh, the combo. Gear Dragon is holding forward on the stick. I want in. Gets pit. Oh, keeps going with the loop. I didn't know you could keep going like that. Wow. All right. All right, pit. Oh, oh the break. throw tech. When was the last time I seen a throw tech in this game? Oh, goes to the high low. Blocking. Oh. Just mashing to get mashing it. Mashing that 5A. 4K damage setup. The throw? Did he steal the corner with that? This is insane. Not too much damage is also invalid, but like this combo is still going. <laughs> and the setup into the oh, corner, good the tech. Throw tech. These players are on point right now. Oh, the whip <laughs> punish! He said, "What are you setting up for over there?" No, no, no. Intimidation. All right. Oh, oh got it. Flipped by that, anyways. No follow up though. Gonna have to just reset to neutral. Oh, air throw, all right. Nice hit there. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, what a DP. You know what? It's like the best time to use it just because he was still after the super. And Gear Dragon was already aimed to come towards him, so the chance that he was going to hit a button on the land. The whiff recovery on the super, acknowledging I can still just throw out DP like that. Oh, the mash, but then get the full combo. Oh. Oh. oh my god, this is just the neutral. That th that 2C, insanely accurate. Oh, oh no the punish on the reverse. Oh, oh, there it is. Not able to find the punish, though. Just going to have to block there is prop. Nice air, th air throw. Oh, but doesn't get the conversion. Unfortunate. And oh. 
We're going to a game five. Why did I tell you? Why did I tell you? Game I, five. Yeah, I'm eating my words right now. A nice bowl of them. And here we go. Both players making the case why they should be the winner of CEO's 2023 MBAC bracket. Ooh, the movement. Again, the double air dash is really great. You still move there. Ooh, back dash is that one thunder, but gets clipped by the other one. Doesn't matter. They're resetting back to neutral anyway. Ooh. But he still has all those uh, orbs set up. Ooh. Set the pit. Earless. All right. Block. Oh. Ooh. I love the limo's little Knight's shimmy there. Pit. Oh, the whiff punish. Oh, did they both spot dodge? Shared brain selectivity. Okay, so much <laughs> setup from Roa on screen here. He's just polluting the screen. And Bull it's crap. working out. The um the aggressiveness that Gear Dragon had has definitely been slowed down. I think part of it is Prof being more aggressive on punching back um, as well. So he's been able to make more space for himself oh, instead of just hoping the for whiff it. On the CC. Tragic. They're both creating space for each other. Alright, keep getting those charges. Oh, no, this is the convert. Oh, gets the oh, counter no. hit. What's that? No. Family situation. Oh, the heat. Oh, gets the convert. No way. Oh, and the no needle. Oh. Certified classic. All right. Feeling to the other ground. All right. I'm Ooh. genuinely surprised neither opponent grabbed there. I was fully ready for it. But here's that Roa pressure in the corner. And there it is again. Gets the poke. Oh, so keep the corner. Oh, loses the corner a little bit. Oh, what a shield. shield. But it doesn't matter. He's still stuck in the corner. Here, Dragon trying to breathe. Gets a solo hit. Not able to find much more, though. Ooh. Oh, the air nice. throw. Gets the convert. Momiji loop. Uh, uh, uh. Sets pit. All right. Oh, that was a tricky mix of he's known for. Nice. The air throw reset. That's it. Get the full combo. Ignite. There we go. Oh, what an air my throw. God. The air throw. The mash. Avare. All right. Oh, oh no. Get caught. caught. Get caught jumping. No. Prof. Air unlockable. Prof taking it 3 2. Oh, my gosh. That was tugging and pulling on my heartstrings. Both players going at it. Great match. When when Sivaki is on screen, everything is like on a razor's edge because she's like so explosive, but she also just gets blown up easily. And you get see Roa, who has like the perfect combination of uh, pressure, con space control, great normals, good speed. Honest Mid Michael. Honest Mid Michael. Man, that was a heck of a set. They, I think that kind of exemplified why I like this game so much. This game is really sick. It, it's it went so fast, but both players were in such control. It was it was great to see. And we're not even done. That was our first game. Can you believe that? That was our Actually? first game of top four. Next yeah, up. Game five situation. Oh, my gosh. Antigone versus Lemon and Lime. And as we talked about it before, this is a matchup. Very interesting. Antigone making a solid run. Uh, lost to, I believe it was gear no it was prof in uh winter side mm -hmm. and has been climbing back through losers and lemon and lime has um, been making almost, a almost jump, i almost jumped for um, double jeopardy there. i know I lemon lime jeopardy. lost round one to ran here i and don't know what would have been sadder me getting a double jeopardy on him or me losing yeah he has been climbing ever since through the losers bracket if they can take it all the way this might be in an one of the best losers runs i've ever seen in person interesting matchup we got going on here antigone is a siwa akia player Meanwhile, Lemon and Lime is a F Miyako player. That's so. weird. I'm pretty sure we've had two Siwarakias and two Full Moon uh, Miyakos in the bracket. Full Moon? I could have sworn it was like Crescent Moon. I thought it was Full Moon, but I could be wrong. But just seeing both those characters here, I know seeing Miyako is, is pretty familiar. Both the characters are, are used. But yeah, I got my, my first personal experience fighting Miyako, and um, that was scary. It's been <laughs> a hot minute since I played a Miyako in this and in TL. Mm hmm. Well, you haven't gotten the the Cowie experience in TL. No, unfortunately, I didn't. I, I, I can't get the Reaper experience either. Bro oh, dang! Yako Nation in shambles. Okay, are we getting a button check? Yo, I love buttons. I love pressing buttons. 
Chat, that's my favorite part. Oh, are we getting into it? No. Oh, we're just doing button checks. Okay. <laughs> Immediate round start burst. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Oh. Akio looking dapper in that costume, by the way. All right, looks like everything is uh, seemingly good. Um, Are they, is it? Oh, maybe, okay. maybe. Oh, no. oh yeah, I think because we don't have a we don't have like a start button on. Oh this. yeah, there's no start button. Yeah, yeah, you guys have to like just beat on each other. I like need that. I need the the smash remix uh, hold to start. Oh, they added that into Pulsar. In, and, like, and yeah, I think it's in Strive as well. It, in Strive. It, it's such a weird feature to think about. It, but it's so good. It's really good. It prevents like the accidental pauses that like can just ruin yeah. a, a set. But Smash it also uh... <laughs> Smash 64 is actually really bad about that because like on a lot of normal um, controllers, the start button can like move if you replace the button. Mm -hmm. And so I've I've seen in real time. People lose games or sets because they accidentally move the controller too hard SDIing and then oh, it hits the start button because of no. this. All right, looks like everything's uh, good to go. All right, we're getting into it for real. Awesome, awesome. All right, movement, get around here. F Miyako really wants to get in close here. She has like stubby normals, which can be a pain in the butt against Kerita with such big normals like Gorakia. But with those big normals come slow frame data. Slower than average to A, slow to C, to B, it doesn't even hit mid, it doesn't even hit low, it's a mid. All right, gets the hard knockdown. Pressure from that. Oh, the throw. Okay, sets, sets up Shiki clone. All right. All right, got him in the corner now. In the corner. Oh, the oh, air no. counter hit, but doesn't get the full convert. Oh, buttons being pressed here. All right, throw. Okay. Oh, the, there there's Nani set up. There we go. You know, I think it's cool. There's a good few characters in this game that have like, I use another character, not like just their move. I use another character using their move in my move set. Special shout outs to B Sion, by the way. True. Sick character. Take the throw. Took him to right, the skies. To oh, the air counter hit on Nanaya. Oh, mashes the crap out of 2A. Resets back to neutral. Oh, the super jump there. Oh, oh the air hit. counter hit, but gets the, the knockdown. Oh, that's the thing about this game. Air counter hits uh, get like a bit weird if you have a double hitting move, like like you see with the with that Warkia uh, JB. Doesn't matter if you got the air counter hit there. If you got the second hit there, that's not a counter hit. You're just like you don't get the combo anymore. Both players, like you see that, yeah. They're finding these stray hits, but just struggling to convert after. Air footsies. Oh, gets that overhead. Antigone, oh. low, low health, has to keep the pressure going, but the, the J.A. J -A. And she's so happy. She's so happy. All right, oh. got a mix of ground and air footsies Very going scary on. Very whiff there. Could have been into, could have been uh, punished into great damage. They're just feeling each other out. All right, okay, good damage going on here. That's it. All right. Oh, it doesn't spend a meter, doesn't get air throw. Oh, the reset, but circuit spark. Oh, keep blocking, keep blocking. All right. Oh, the two B, but doesn't get the convert into two C. And that's the thing about Warwick. Oh, the overhead. This conversion ability is very tricky. Oh, catches Miyako. Jump scare. Oh, nice catch with the 2B. Oh, but the but counter now. Oh. This is very, that was a very scary position to be in if you're fighting Miyako. Being cornered against Miyako with the damage that she can deal, the mix that she can, she can uh, apply, scary. But Warakia can just press buttons in, in neutral. It, like an outrange of the crap out of Miyako. Very stubby character. Oh, this is looking a little scary. I think Lemon Lime is jumping a little too oh. much. One more hit should do it. And oh, there it is. There's the big hitbox. <laughs> All right. 1 0 right now for. Oh my gosh. Antigone possibly ending this run here for Lemon and Lime. And this is best of three. So only two ra uh, games are needed to move on. I would like to see the screen, please. Okay. We're missing out on some action. Tragic. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, cutting back to it right All right, both players at about even health, but we're seeing now 
Oh, the nice, and that's the hard knockdown. Yep. 4K damage. What's the mix? Just keep on holding that. Oh, nice job punishing that. Oh, way to cover the space there. All right, air throw. Oh, oh yeah. the heat punish. Can you cash out? Not enough to kill yet. Needs one more situation. Oh, great to be there. Oh, oh, oh no. no. Oh, God, made Got it work. It. You know, as long as we get there, it's, it's all about the destination. <laughs> Exactly. It doesn't matter how many times you, you fumble. If you get, if you see win, if you see you win, you win. Exactly. All right, setting up the corner now. Oh, oh. drops the combo. Oh, but able to find their way out. Yes, the counter hit. Very scary situation to be found in. Oh, doesn't get the tag. That's a lot of damage. All right, hard knockdown. What's the mix? Just keep hitting buttons. Finds the low. Is there any mix walking you can do here? Damn. All right. Ooh, nice counter hit there. So close to the ground, too. Great damage. Just looks looking for one more hit here. Oh, Finds the low. Two a. All right, game round three. Possibly game point for Antigone. Lemon and Live oh, gonna need to come alive. Oh, the J so it doesn't go get the full counter hit combo. Oh, the overhead. Oh, the left, right. Resets to neutral again, but the damage output. Oh, oh. circuit spark. Oh, letting the, the heat rock. The punish that JB. Oh, doesn't get the, doesn't get the reset. Lemon and lime though in a great position, but now in the corner. Oh, they're just they're just feeling each other out. Air footies, air footies. Oh, nice counter hit. Spends the meter. Gets up close and personal. Oh, goes for overhead with the JB. Nice running grab. Sets up Shiki. JC. Oh. Oh, doesn't get the full convert there. Again, multi hits on, on here. Counter hit. And all of a sudden, this is looking really bad for Lemon and Lion. That chip and the amount of damage he's taken is really starting to hurt. But once he gets in, the damage he can apply is insane. But oh! he's not going to get in because Antigone is going to seal the deal too. Oh. And move on to losers finals to fight Gear Dragon. Special shout out to Lemon and Lime here for that amazing run. Oh yeah, and Good again, he's been playing all sorts of stuff this weekend. I saw the medals he's got on, bro. It's it's insane. Mm -hmm. Some people they come in here with nothing and they leave home champions. And even if you don't make it all the way, you still get a cool medal. That's pretty nice. And even if you know you get a cool medal, you get you get some nice nice experience. Nice experience. Games with friends, make new friends. I think that's all what the, the tourney experience Try out new is about. Games. Uh, I've been trying out a lot of new games here. I tried out Vampire Savior uh, the other day. Good game. Just, I got the bug for that. I got the CDS2 bug. I got a lot. Oh, my gosh. That's always the worst. You go to a new event, you're like, oh, Dang, I want to no. play all these games. It's <laughs> I, so sick. I'm going to be ah. playing this forever now. Oh, man. But I know that bug has probably gotten to all of our players up here right now as we see Gear Dragon taking his seat versus Antigone. Interesting match we got going on here again. Siwara controlling good space with his uh, strong neutrals, but the frame data is so slow on some of his attacks. Meanwhile, we have Sivakiha out here with blistering speed, forcing the opponent to block all the time. Good damage, but gets blown up the moment that anyone touches her. Yeah, and we're seeing it just. Well, we saw the aggression in the uh, prof set um, in Winner's Finals. Gear Dragon does not care what you think you deserve in your space. He's going to come and get you. And we got the great, uh, we got the the focus on the air footsies in the uh, match with Antigone. Oh, yeah. Interesting matchup going on here. And I've noticed a lot that uh, Gear Dragon really likes going for air throw, really likes counter hitting with yep. JC. Are we getting into it or is this a button check? I think we're getting right into, getting into it. it yeah. All right. Neutral, all right. Okay, no. no, it seems like a button check. Unless this is like the most complicated neutral I've ever seen. Yeah, no, button check. <laughs> the biggest of fundies. I think it'd be faster if uh, Wara just goes in and kills Baki right there. Too bad. Oh, Laser. Or you just charge up. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use this moment of pause that we have. I want to thank all of y'all who have stopped by in the stream so far. It means a lot. Um, as I was the head TO for the event and Ran really helped me out um, because of uh, things that took my attention while we were starting. Okay, fourth place at Type Lumina. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, this was my first time officially hosting a Lumina, or 
Lumina, uh, hosting current at Current Code yeah. uh, by myself, and I've come to really love this game in the year or so I've started getting into it. It's and, a really uh, good game. I got into it last year of high school, and it's it's a blast. And I'm glad that we were able to have it here. Great and I'm so community. excited. Great community. CEO Taku 2023 registration has just opened up. We are in Orlando, Florida. We ain't in Daytona anymore, for, for at least Taku. Um, it should be great. We're main game, I believe. Main or side, one of the two. But it's being hosted. Um, I'll be sure to bring all of my setups, and we'll be fine in gaming then. I hope to see you there. By if the way, not, if you are in Florida during the middle of July, come out to Oceanfront. Oh, we yeah. Got, if you're a Smash player, hey, we got Melee, we got Smash 64, and uh, if you want to get into some melty goodness, whether you like classics of current code or the, the modern era going on we got with uh, Type Lumina, come on over. I'm getting stared at by the TO's desk going, no. <laughs> <laughs> the forbidden game we can't mention. <laughs> All right, and we're getting into it. All right, feeling each other out. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, the air counter hit with, with the two, three, six. All right, block. <laughs> Keep blocking. Oh, almost got out of there. No, it gets clipped. No conversion. Oh, press the button. Keeps get pressing buttons. You gotta block. Oh. All right, not too much Do on the combo oh. side there, but here comes Gear Dragon now, sending to the other side. Nice air nice throw. Nice air throw, but doesn't get the conversion off of it. Great pressure going on here. And Max Meter could see something more. Oh, no. my wake up heat. Oh. Got the first shield, but didn't get it on the rest of the hits. Keep blocking, keep blocking. Oh, just oh, over the, the fire overhead. pillar. And you see her just blowing up like that. Oh, good but the hit. J2C. That was really good. I, I got to shout out that positioning there on the dash in by Antigone to go just over the fire pillar. But Gear Dragon still showing that he's got that offense on point. Finds oh, the round. Gets the combo invalid, but it doesn't matter. You get the damage on the screen. If the damage happens, the damage happens. I don't care if, I don't care if it's uh, real or fake. Oh, Very tense neutral going on here. He caught the Tims. Oh, doesn't get the conversion there. That is a really long reach to a really fast, dude. This character just got a lot to work with. Oh, gets the circuit spark. The heat. All right. And Antig oh, Antigone the losing the corner. Oh, doesn't get the conversion. The air counter hit, and it worked out in his favor. Oh, but he texts. Gets the throw, sets up Shiki. No combo there, but we're chilling. We're big chilling. Oh, get the air hit. Press the buttons, press the buttons. Got the hit on the flame pillar, but only finding a combo after. Oh, gets the wake up heat there. Great health lead for Antigone going on here. But I can go away in an instant. No, no conversion. Has to keep on blocking it, but Aaron blockable, unblockable setups. He got this in this game. Oh, doesn't matter. 2B2C. Antigone calling back. Round three, game one of Losers Finals. Oh, the day 2C hitting that. that that's so cool. Shout out to Thank you, JC, for hitting that, like, exactly. Alrighty. Antigone trying to keep that corner pressure. Gear Dragon fighting his way out. Oh, gets the really good mash on that 2A. Oh, doesn't get the loops. Gets hit with the heat. Getting that red health back. All right. Very tense going on here. And we got the hit. Oh, back to neutral. Misses the unblockable. <laughs> Just swing doesn't get and a the miss. air throw and doesn't get the doesn't have the meter to end with the ex either. Oh, very tense situation there. Antigone finding these pokes now. Even if they're not converting much, they're adding damage. Oh, get the Nero summon. Oh, the trade. All works out in Vakia's favor. And no, the bait. Oh, the bait. This is gonna hurt. Not Gets. if he drops the combo, it won't. But still oh. low health, no meter left to build any of it back. Gear Dragon in a good spot. And take go away in an instant. As soon as he gets his hit, it's just another guess for game. After that one. Oh no! Doesn't get the Oh mash out to A. <laughs> Alright, Gear Dragon. 
Maybe a sigh of relief there. That health bar was so small. I would have been so Very mad. spooky situation going on there. But that's all right. Getting into game two now. This is a best of five set. We are now in loser's finals. Winner of this runs it with Croft. Will we get the run back from Gear Dragon or will we see Antigone try his hand at the gold? Oh, gets the counter hit there. Good damage, 4K. How much more can Vakia take? I think she's got a little bit more in her. You're making her sound like she's like a glass cup or something. She's got a. If you compare that with regular Aki, who has like the most health in the game, she's like, it's like night and day. Actually, should. you know what? I just looked at her health bar again. You right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, doesn't get the full combo. Good conversion. Oh, tries to go for the reset. No mash. Oh, mash out to 2A. One in doubt, run up, mash up 2A. Goes to the reset. Got the bait. Nice heat bait. There's something so smooth of watching that something back dash I'm noticing. happen. Something I'm noticing. Okay, there it is. I was noticing earlier in game one, we're not seeing much of a pit getting set. Keep on blocking, keep on blocking. The and overhead. overhead. Just hit him with the das kick. Boy. Do you think the reason we may not have been seeing the pit as much was just maybe like just going for the later rounds to send it out so it's more of an added uh, thing I to think, watch out I for? I think my interpretation is that like your dragon's probably trying to feel up how uh, I think he plays neutral against this character to then see like what, what he does in the in the corner. So I'm guessing once, once uh, your dragon's figured out to uh, take his game plan, now he's like, okay, I'm going to set pit after all these combos once I get in. But also the fact that like the conversions that we saw, he's getting more successful conversions there. He's getting the corner, getting these Momiji loops. Getting the pit, no initial ignite. Gets the grab. The health, the health recovery when he's on pit too. That's it. Dead. What a great round great there by Gear round. Dragon. Nice One day more. Compared to that last round, how fast Sivaki Hook can make these rounds. And just so stoic, just in the game. Oh, good mash there. Gets the 4.4k damage. Oh. Oh. Gets the convert. Let's go. 4k damage. Any mix? Keeps blocking. Ooh. Run up, <laughs> <Walk> up <laughs> the rope. <laughs> okay. Okay. Himself. Perfect. Oh. Hot set yeah, going on. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. That was insane. <laughs> that's a that's a clap back if I've ever seen one. All right, gear. It doesn't matter if uh, it would it wouldn't even matter if your dragon got like double perfect after that. I think Tiggity won the war. Yeah, it, it's in our heads now. <laughs> oh, the stagger pressure! Something that I really like about watching high level Melty is the stagger pressure that goes on, and we lo and I love seeing that from your dragon. The stagger pressure in this game is insane. It puts it makes Dragon Ball Fighters look like a. Uh, a way more mashy game. I mean, it is pretty much. I mean, this game, every game is like mashy, unless we're like playing. Look, I love mashing buttons. I love mashy blood. Wow. It's a really good round. I here. will say, yeah, that round was very good by Gear Dragon. Both players just hitting each other hard and not finding an answer when it's their turn to be the punching bag. That's the thing you have to really worry about in this matchup. The reset. Is that, uh, that 2 1 4 series of attacks that uh, Vakia has. That controls so much space. The circuit spark. You think I'm hit? No, sorry. Ten. Still my corner. Oh, I guess the corner back. Oh, even if you think you keep the startup, it doesn't go away on hit. Oh, the spacing there. Sets pit. Oh, trying to poke his way out. Oh, no. The pillars coming in for Gear Dragon. Clutch up. 3-0 to Gear Dragon. No good showing from Antigone, especially the double walk-up throw. Oh, definitely. Like, someone, uh, uh, 50 people have probably already clipped that. That was, <laughs> that was insane. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch that back and go, dang. Uh, if, if no one else has clipped it, I got to go back and clip it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> At least wait till the stream's over. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, Prof is taking their seat up. The champion to knock it down and gear dragon coming back for round two well technically set two but you know what i mean mm -hmm. um this is going to be very exciting we're going to see c roa and uh c vermilion and this is 
really oh. hot set going on here. The run back. Can Gear Dragon get his dub off of uh, Prof, or will Prof just double jeopardy him? Now, this is the thing. Given how tight it was in winner's finals. It's anyone's game. Now, Gear Dragon is coming with momentum now. Has already played their set relatively recently, it being a few seconds ago. And Prof has been watching for the most part since uh, Semi started. So could take him a little bit to kind of warm back but up also, and get into it. But also that means that uh, Prof could get a better feel of uh, how uh, Gear Dragon plays after watching someone else be on the receiving end as That's opposed true. to him being on the receiving end himself. Oh, sure. I think right. we might be getting into it now. Um, Are we doing another? No, I think we're doing butt check. Button check. No. Yeah. All right, we're good. <laughs> But we do get a cool little visual. Oh, we're on the, the we're cool on the warehouse stage. stage. Oh, I love this stage. This is pretty cool. I, I'm just glad that, like, no matter where we go in this game, there's just a banger song with it. That's the beauty of the soundtrack. Unless. Unless. Unless we're talking about that stage, the, the burning the burning forest with the Neko arc, where it's just car alarms. But I kind of like that one, though. Really? I kind of do. It hurts my ears. Oh, where are, we, where are going? we going? Oh, we're getting the stage music counter pick. I hope out of spite they pick the forest one. Oh, no. <laughs> we got this one, though. This one's good, too, though. Oh, and we keep the animations for the opening, too, for the hype. All right, so you're doing some late-night shopping. We got the shopping. rhythmical bustle going on here. Grand finals for Melty Blood actors again. Current code. Let's go. Woo! All right, both players feeling themselves out with these footsies. Oh, the go double here counter hit. <laughs> The charge there keeps on respecting that. What else can you really do? The double air counter hit again! Oh, but finally Catches gets the needle. The air unblockable. What a start. Oh. The J2C. No! I guess the reset, the hard knockdown. Keep blocking, keep blocking, keep blocking. Man, that's a lot. The, the overhead. overhead gets the conversion. Momiji loops. Bit. Oh, gets it. The hit and gets another knockdown. The heat. This time not baited out. Gear Dragon not able to follow it. Uh-oh. Oh, managed to get away from the lightning in time. The attack. block. All right. Oh, nice movement going on here. The spot dodge this, is here. The, the movement by both players has been absolutely insane. Oh, doesn't get the convert from there. Keep blocking, keep blocking. Great pressure going on here. Oh, so close to getting a guard break, but it doesn't matter. Bro, stop blocking. And that, that game ran, or that round lasted a while. For like 20 blocking and see Roa standards. Yeah, that was like fairly long. Yeah, 20 uh, seconds on the round, but Gear Dragon coming out clutch. Good. Gets, oh, gets the unblockable setup. But doesn't get much more after it. But getting a good combo here in the corner. We're going to see the loops. So that's hit and still has meter left to spend. Finds Ooh. the hit. Gets these loops. Oh, nice. But he's, but he's still in a very rough situation going on here. Oh. I just realized, Prof, very dangerous position in the health. Gear Dragon a bit to burn. He has a lot of mistakes he can make, and he can still be all right. Oh. oh. How many we get? Oh, the wake up heat. The wake up heat in response! Alright, but the pressure here, not letting him get any recovery back on the health. Oh, it's over. No. No, he drops the combo! 32, 30 seconds left on the clock. Oh, oh the, the 2A. 2A. Very good there by Gear Dragon, gonna take the first game. And the heat of this match, so strong, you can see it in the cam. You can also see it with the both of them just wake up heating each other. <laughs> I wake up in the morning and there's heat. I go to bed. I'm out of meter. Shout out to the Miyako heat animation. I wish I, I remembered what that was. I'm it's the one where she's just like, oh, okay. oh yeah, we gotta get it back into it. The needle catching and the full conversion. Prof just said, you know what? I didn't like the fact that I wasn't in control of that round. Come into the corner. Gear but now he's cornered. Oh, they're slapping. Oh, the health deficit that Gear Dragon is in. 
very bad spot to be in. The movement, the spot dodge there. And that should it's be it. Over. Yeah, there's that first round. Prof taking it convincingly. Moving into round two. Uh, both players with a good amount of meter, 200% of each. The air counter hit. Gonna send into the corner with that knockdown. The overhead. Overhead. Wake up heat. Oh, that was a funny wake up heat. I love when wake up heat's like that where you just steal the. Oh, the arc drive. What a sick arc drive. What's the mix? Just keep on sending thunder. Oh, get the hit. Get the hit. Here's more thunder. The pressure going on here is immaculate. That heat was the great. Throw. The OTG on the. Oh my god, the double overhead. The oh air throw! The walk up throw. Is this the Gear Dragon weakness? Okay, can, I need to talk about like the last half of that round. That I've been in situations where Gear Dragon was in where your opponent just has the beat on you one to one and it's so extended it hurts. I know the feeling of helplessness there. Your every move seemingly gets red. Ooh. We're yes. Oh, doesn't matter if it's fake though. He gets it. The overhead. This is some blistering Keep on damage. Watching. Guess for game. Guess for game. The yeah, expert. All right. Oh. Oh no. No. Gear Dragon was okay. He was over the needle, but the shield cost him. But I understand his mindset though. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta shield that because that's gonna be air unblockable. But too soon. Or too late. Oh, the EX shield, but gets the DP. Doesn't get too much of a big punish off of it, but gets the reset. All right, Gear Dragon, good control here at the start of this round. Gonna set up pit. pit. Walks up to A. The loops are on point here. Keeps walking. Ignites pit. Ooh. Very managing to find their way out. Prof using the heat and getting the blowback off of it. Very helpful. They were at a Great very low amount of health. going on here by Prof. Getting a lot of health back, actually. Can, the, the thing about Ro is that he can just play lane like this. He can just set, set up so much like space control here, especially if he knows what the opponent's habits are. The damage. All right, rough situation. Oh. Uses the heat. Had to do it there. I'm not blocking you anymore. Get out of here. Oh, gets right. knocked down with the corner now is Gear Dragon. Oh, but Prof able to get out. We're back to neutral. Very tense neutral. Yeah, just going for air counter hit. Oh, so close to getting an air counter hit. Oh, very. That was a very scrambly situation. It's still very scrambly. Oh. Oh, it's over. No, it's not. <laughs> it's never over till it's truly over. Gear All Dragon right. needs to wait. The time. The time. Oh, such a bad cat 22 for Prof over there. You, if you don't heat, you risk getting timed out. You do heat, you risk getting baited. But I don't know how much that was worth, given that you still had another round to play with. Now we're in round three. But at the same time, though, you don't want Gear Dragon to get the reset. You want to just clench this out as soon as you can. Very tense to going on here again. Great range play going on here. Great movement. Just the barely getting it. Counter hit gets big damage. Great blocks there, but unfortunately, oh, it, oh the no. Heat. Oh, the arc drive! That was so unfortunate. Gear Dragon bursted to get out of the corner just to find himself back in the corner. But then he gets the hit. Doesn't get enough. Probably won't get enough needle to get the hit. No, Never does. mind! Oh, the, the tech. throw tech. Oh, that would have been a great whiff punish there. No counter hit. Again, the way I see Gear Dragon searching for counter hits with JC. Oh my gosh, that's it. All right, Gear Dragon stealing the game. Making a great comeback in round two and three. We might be on the verge of a reset. One more we might game. Be on the, or we might not be on the verge of uh, history repeating itself. Well, I'm going to quote what you said earlier. Um, game four prof? Game four prof? Maybe. Maybe. Hmm? I love 
uh, Gear Dragon's Mask, by the way. The, the percent being so low. So that's the VTuber merch you got going on, too. Oh, yeah, Gear Dragon was also in Idol Showdown. Um, in fact, they were <laughs> they were late to their um, to their Smash Ultimate uh, pool, I think because of Idol Showdown. Like, they were gaming. I need to get into Idol Showdown. Looks like hilarious. All right, Gear Dragon open up the round strong, getting a good amount of damage. damage. And oh, in the combo, or in the blocks, corner. But the mash! This is mash, but then like, but didn't trust it. Sets pit. You got to keep on blocking. The overhead, overhead. Ignite. Oh, Unblockable no. setup. Yeah, Don't up back. Because of the jump getting caught in that blender. You can block you can block the pit, but you can't block that five that four C. Oh setting up some lightning. Gear Just Dragon finding the grab. Oh goes for six C. Five K damage. Can we get six? Not five point six. I'll take it. Not sure how much Gear Dragon can take. Great pressure going on here. Oh Go to counter. Getting out of the way. Nice GX. shield. Shield. I'm not getting air blockable by you anymore. Get out of here. Get out of my zone. Oh, it gets hit. Can this be not enough damage? There oh, it is. there we go. It took, it took a few tries, but we got there. We got there. It's all about the destination, like you said. Oh, I, I see what he's going for. Oh, does oh, it again? Oh, the up back or, or the up forward. You think I won't do it again? How about this? I got the meter. I'm sending it. All right, hard knockdown. Nice running grab. Kick throw gets the life back. Oh, good shield. Gets counter. Oh, nice box. Nice IPs going on here. The heat. Oh, nice catch there, but unfortunately does not get the conversion. <gasps> the hard knockdown. Back dashes away, gets back to neutral. Very tense neutral here again. I just think about this game, this game can be very tense. There's some tricky movement there by Gear Dragon, finding some stray hits. 50 seconds on the clock. Ooh, doesn't get the full convert. Are we going to see a bracket reset? That's, That's a pit. pit. Got a block. Oh, never mind. Prof said, no, I'm not blocking. Has a ton of meter, doesn't even need it. Gear Dragon with the reset. This is Got intense. Some goodness coming up. Oh yeah. And uh, going back to the character select screen for a second. I don't know if we're seeing any actual switches on characters, but just taking a moment. And this is just something com competition-wise in general. Even in between games, in between sets, even like now, take a minute. You have the you time. Take, take the yeah. break. Get yourself to recover some momentum. And uh, get your mind back into it, because you can get tilted, things can go wrong, and you don't want that to continue on if you're still in the match. Also, kind of want to see another stage. I want another I want another soundtrack. A burning tree, burning nah. tree. <laughs> 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 All right, we're in the manual stage counter kind of pick. I win. No, they're uh, doing colors actually. You've, you've been debated. Oh. <laughs> I thought I heard. I thought I heard. Oh, we got it. Okay, right. we're getting back into Ciroa versus Sivakiha. We're going on the park. As opposed to being in the park, which is just above. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I couldn't help myself. It's all good. We got this banger of a track playing soon. Oh, you love to hear it. All right, here we go. Grand finals. The <laughs> EX Shield! What a start. <laughs> Great character development going on here. Went from getting constantly clipped by a uh, air unblockable 236C into being like, no, I'm not eating that anymore. EX Shield. Ooh, oh, but in the, by that, though. the corner, though, looking rough for Gear Dragon. Already at half health. The EX shield Shield's it again. I'm not scared. Try it. Gets the pit. Okay, keep blocking. No, gets the throw. You know, if you notice uh, Vaki's life bar there, if she's standing on the pit, she gets some of her life back. But uh oh, getting the bro, getting the hit there. All that life's gone. Oh my goodness! Nice hit there. Very scary position to be in. Oh, gets the conversion. No fear. Oh. This is where things are scary. No oh, hell. Nice DP. Yeah, Gear Dragon was maybe looking for a place to get a burst there because literal pixels on the health bar. 
But Gear Dra or Prof getting the DP to seal the round. And now back into round two. Oh, tries to go for a reset. Nice oh! Hit. Can Prof uh, adapt to uh, Gear Dragon's seeming lack of fear towards 236C? That's a that's like a psychological question. How do you make someone feel fear in, the, in this reference to a video game? But right now, Gear Dragon saying, "You don't. If I'm determined enough, I will get in." It doesn't matter how many times you air and block with me. I'm over it now. Wow, very decisive round two. This round is over. These players Last are. Last round. They're going absolutely crazy at each other right now. This is great. Nice match from the 2A there. Some nice air footsies. Gets pit to perfect damage. Block, block, block. Gets the burn. The wake up heat. Oh, so close to getting it. Oh, no, the hitbox is in full screen. No way. Very good spaces going on here. Oh, but the oh, counter hit. But no. get it. Unfortunate. All right, still just mostly getting some pokes in here. The tracking on that move. All right, Gear Dragon once again finding another opening. Gets Prof into the corner. Nice EX block going on here. I got like two different names for you. Oh, very patient play going on here. Very tense. All right, I think. Oh, Ooh. looks like they were trying to bait the burst there, but Prof, no fear himself, said, I'm coming in. Let me in. Keep blocking, keep blocking, keep blocking. Blocking. That's what that's the thing about Roa, but it doesn't matter. But like, it doesn't, how much is it gonna matter? Oh, gets a few hits, but out of the corner is Gear, Gear Dragon. Dragon. Can keep on just playing lane here. Time out. You know what? We we a hundred percent take those. Gear Dragon in the reset, taking the first game, saving the replay as well. Everything's been saved. Yeah. Shout outs to my settings. Shout outs to the caster and the community who developed it. We love it. We love being able to play netplay and with rollback. Um, if you have ever wanted to get into it, it's super accessible. And uh, again, uh, go to game. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 soundtrack, 10 out of 10 game, 10 out of 10 characters, everything. Great. And we're getting back into some neutral. Got the mash there, but didn't believe it. Gets the needle oh, this there time. There it is! The EX shield. Where was that earlier? Oh, doesn't feel too confident to keep on going here all the way. Oh. Keep on blocking, keep on blocking. You gotta love that Roa just kind of makes their own corner sometimes. <laughs> just with all the lasers set up. That's such a scare. Ooh, oh, it God. doesn't matter. It was regular shield, not as advantageous. That's pit. Very expensive to do, by the way. 200 meter. Keep blocking, keep blocking, keep blocking. All right. All right, so we're gonna reset to neutral. Both players taking their place on the other side of the stage. Very scary situation there. Oh, not quite able to punish the DP in time. Oh, doesn't get the, doesn't get anything off of that gear in the five A. Oh, doesn't get the loops there. Gets the heat just to start getting help. Oh, the throw the tech. Throw tech. They've been on point with their throw techs recently. The oh, doesn't get the conversion. All right, lock, lock. we are running out of time. 19 seconds on the clock. Both players at a similar health, but Gear Dragon finding more damage has the health lead. There's the oh, heat, but not quite. The timer has stopped, but no! does it matter as no. long as Gear Dragon can keep on playing lame and not get clipped by anything? The patience. The row of combos is not gonna be enough. Oh, gets and the KO anyways. Prof had to approach. All right, going into round two now. God, that was round one. <laughs> Very These players, I, I think this is one of the games where I can really appreciate timeouts even. it's These players are both constantly giving it their all throughout the entire time. It doesn't really feel like any of it's being wasted. And that's just the thing about this game. Even like these timeout situations, they just feel so tense because of how explosive some of these characters can be. Neutral that you have to play, having to worry about air counter hits. Oh, oh, the 2A! Gonna send him into the corner. Gets the setup. Nice over. Is that even an overhead? Either it's an overhead or Bro is just pressing buttons there. 
I think I saw the counter hit, but I could have been wrong. It could have been the reverse beat. Oh. No, I think it was counter hit. All right, Gear Dragon, he's looking for that bait uh, for the burst now. Oh, no. Oh. No EX shield this time. Just gets he's knocked in the back. Air dash. We got regular shield going on here. <laughs> Prof with a fully loaded cannon of lightning. Oh, able to find it. Convert. Sick conversion. Boy. And uh, hey, tell me if you heard this one before. Prof and Gear Dragon are in a round three. <laughs> Oh, but Prof coming out swinging. Already taking Gear Dragon's health to half. Oh, but then Gear Dragon gets a hit of his own. Doesn't get the full combo. The dash 2A is really strong there. It's just such a really fast low. Covers so much space there. Arc dry. Oh my gosh, Gear Dragon, so little Doesn't health get left. Tunes. Doesn't get much mix opportunity off of it. Just ups back out of there. Doesn't get the needle hit either. It's actually really rough. Even with the heat right now, Gear Dragon is not getting much oh, health, but it doesn't hit. matter. It doesn't matter. Convincing, a convincing game two to Prof. Prof looks like he's feeling it. That that must have felt really good, that game. If I was Prof, I'd be feeling myself right there. Ooh. The smile on his face. You'll love to see it. All right. Hopping right back into it for game three. One to one. <laughs> oh, guess the tech reset. <laughs> I think we're getting to see some weird positions for Gear Dragon when the oh, needle comes nice out. Oh, nice getting out of there, Bunker. It doesn't matter though. Gear Dragon finding those combos. That's Pit Needleless. All right, there goes the lightning orbs. He gets out of the corner. What happened? Your dragon's trying to chase. Oh, gets nice hit there. Doesn't get too much off of it. He sets back to me. Oh, nice IB. The air counter, but doesn't get much off oh, of no. it. Oh, no. He's going to be punished for it, too. Very unfortunate situation. Artist runs up 2A. That's the mix. Nice smash on his own 2A. All right. The space Oh. Great back to that. Oh, the lightning. Oh. It catches nice the heat. Nice heat, babe. You're going into this next round with no meter. Very rough situation to be in. Oh, doesn't get the convert. No, gets the blind spot. <laughs> Obviously, this means that Roa is actually top uh, three and not top one. And we have to surrender to our new overlord, Sika Haku. Oh, I guess the invalid. Doesn't matter. He gets the hit. Tries to go for some mix. Oh, that G2C. All right. Gear Dragon keeping the combo alive. Prof needs to find the way out. Oh, try nice. to hit a button. Stagger. Ignite. Wow. Wow. Juicy, juicy. All right. Prof starting to now get Prof's that offensive now going. The corner, but no. no, Gear Dragon. Gear Dragon now in a much better position with 268% meter. Meanwhile, Roa. Meanwhile, Prof out here with 108 meter. And but things can happen. Round three. Once more, both players adamant about getting this win. Oh, the spot dodge Ooh. in the air! No! Doesn't get the full convert! Your combo's my combo now! Keep blocking? Alright. Prof doing a just good job. Just spending all that meter there, just making him block. Oh, the bait! The bait. Alright, rough That's situation. It's the jump, but that sets up for nice the unblockable. Nice air unblockable. Oh, not taking too much damage for it, though. Prof's still in this. Oh, nice IVs to make sure you keep that guard gauge. Oh, oh finds a low. Hit. All right. Okay. Gear Dragon on the verge to take this third set and be crowned our CEO and back champion. But Prof can still do it.
Game we're four prof. <laughs> Last time we did. Okay, I think when I did it and you doubted me, it worked. Okay. But so, when you did it, it's a jinx. It's so it's a it's one one right now. This is our own mid set. Does game four prof exist? The winner of this decides it. Very convincing start from Prof and determined that game four is his. Nice IBs though. Gets opened up and not full conversion. Oh, the J2C, your corner's my corner now. Get the Momiji loops. Oh, will that intentional reset to try and gauge the situation out? Who knows? Guess it. Oh, I know what you're going for. You're going for air over. No, oh, no shield. Oh, there's the lightning. That's it. No, it doesn't get the air throw. Oh. Just jabbing down. But the counter hit, giving him more leeway to see if that was a good thing to go for. All right. I feel like Prof's been doing well, really well taking that first round. It's in these next two that I feel like your dragon's got that clutch factor. Nice adjustment there. Oh, yeah, because he was briefly in the corner himself, but Gear Dragon walking out and continuing the combo. Oh, gets it. Not able to find the follow up. Just trade. Oh, the nice movement using the 236. Getting the charges there. Your dragon playing a little bit more spaciously. Definitely scared of that lightning. Prof doing a good job of playing keep away, playing this far reaching neutral. Zoner Roa is very scary to deal with. Just as I think he's just as scary as uh, up close and personal Roa. Oh, yeah, with the transformation. We talk about melty but there's no drip. Oh my gosh, it's game five of the reset. This is it. There is no more games. There is oh! no more sets. Tries there to get the dodge for the needle, but it doesn't matter. Wake up, TP. We are already getting crazy. All right, corner oh, no position. Oh. Doesn't try to do anything to enforce mix. Oh no! Oh, no. This is the combo. That's all right. Still Very has the shaky. corner. All those IBs to get the guard gauge back. Very shaky start for Gear Dragon here. Oh, gets oh, the hit. But then he gets the hit. And Four. he got 200 meters to spend to really force Roa to stay there and block. There's the pit. There's pit. Block. Said this is a mosh pit. Get in. Oh, doesn't get the full conversion there. Oh, it's Prof's corner now. All right, here comes the laser setup. Oh, oh, what a counter! counter! All right, no meter for Roa. All right, Zona Roa back in the back in play here. Oh no, but Gear Dragon! Health deficit. This is rough. Had to Very use the heat. situation. By zoning out, that's how you do that. Vaki has to go in and, and make things work. Oh, the trade! Gear Dragon loses the trade. Prof on the verge of winning the bracket after the reset. Can he do it? Oh, this is a good start. Good damage, good damage. He has to set up orbs, orbs. Keep blocking. Oh. The double air counter hit. Doesn't block. Gets the spike. Setting up in the corner now is Gear Dragon. But Prof fighting his way out. All right, we're doing the same song and dance, just on the other side now. Ooh, Gets the hit. Very scary position to be in. Get the meter too. No, I think nice. I was going for. I think he missed the, the double uh, two for the uh, two two C. He missed the second one. That's why I got the air throw. All right, keep blocking. Get out of the corner. Set All right. Orbs. We are getting a little low oh, on time now. Nice movement there. Oh, oh catches him anyway. But no, no full it. conversion, but it doesn't matter. Getting the corner again. Gear Dragon is not letting Prof go. What's the mix? What's the mix? Keep blocking. All right. Oh, patient wait. Oh, great patience there. Eight but seconds. This is a really good life deficit. If I were, if I were Prof, I'd honestly just sit back and like keep my meter. <gasps> Oh, not enough time. Gear Dragon 
clutching it out with the timeout. This Last is it. Last round. There's How many round threes have we seen between these two? But this is the one that matters. I mean, all of it really mattered, though, but this, they all leave this. This is determining who gets the medal for real. <laughs> don't, they, don't they both get medals? They do, but one says one and the other says two. I want the one with the one. Yeah, but you're sitting here going with two. All right, whatever. That, he didn't have to bring that up. But, man, this is insane. Prof is actually um, going crazy. Gear Dragon using the heat to get oh, some health back. But the ladder... Health lead going on here, but can Gear Dragon come in and make things work? All it takes is one situation, and then you're suddenly blocking a bajillion hits against Sivakiha. Oh! All right, there's... Oh, maybe, maybe just, like, waiting for it. This is rough. There's enough meter for one more Very needle. Very scary situation. They're playing there it is. so patiently right now. Nice IB. Oh, that could have... No! Oh. There's the lasers! Guard right. Oh, oh, the low! He took the risk and it was and not there! there we have it! Our Melty Blood actions again. Current co-champion for CEO 2023. Prof. Congrats to Prof. What a hard-fought victory. And shout-outs to Gear Dragon. Brought it so close. And, and you know what? For everyone, that was some amazing Melty Blood. Exhilarating gameplay going on here. That's why I really love the two, two champions here. I don't even care. That was amazing to behold. And um, we should be doing medals in just a second. Right there to that grand finals. That was absolutely insane. And what a way to cap off the evening here inside of Jabalin. I want everybody to give themselves a round of applause for kicking it with us, please, and thank you. And of course, clap it up to our staff in the back back there. T.O. and this whole joint, okay? We couldn't have done it without them. Come on over here, my friend. I want to chat with you if that's possible. Get over here. What's going on? Oh, you got, you got your hoodie. There it is. There it is. Yo, so talk to me. How you feeling about that after... Y'all fought long and hard. Y'all been here all day, all weekend at that final game of the evening. You close out as the final champion here in Jabay Lane. How you feeling? Feeling good. I feel like um, this is one of those games I'm starting to believe. If you have more hatred in your heart, you'll probably win. Feel me? I definitely feel that. I play a couple games that I need hatred to get through, too, like Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. But anyway, that's a story for another day. So, hey, uh, what's your travel schedule like? I mean, that was some great gameplay. Is CEO your only stop for the year? Uh, when it comes to MBAC, I'll be at CEO Taku, actually. Ah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. No doubt. Yeah. And is this the only game you play? I know this ain't the only game you play. What other games you play? Oh, yeah, he's cheesing. I know, I know you play other tiles. What's up? Uh, I'm mainly a melee player, and uh, I'm getting into some other stuff, but this is, like, definitely one of my favorites. I, I, I love MBAC. Everyone should try it out. It's free. It has rollback. No, for real. It's right. dope. Hey, as a fighting game enthusiast, free plus rollback, I like the way that sounds. Hey, shout yourself out really quick. Let everybody know where to find you on the internet, if you're okay with that. I don't know if you got warrants or whatever. What's going on? Are you good? Okay. I mean, if you know where to find me, you know where to find me. That's all I need to say about that. That's right. He said, what's understood don't need to be explained. Hey, one more time. Give it up for your champion. Let's go. And Spider-Man, what the? The Spider-Verse is open. Now, that's how you celebrate a W right there. Hey, with that in mind, we're going to close it out. Uh, again, big shout out to Production Duo Studios, the TO staff in the back, everybody in the audience, everybody in the arcades. You can't do a Jabali Land without the community. And of course, shout out to Jabali and Tong for everything that they did. I'm throwing it back to the commentators. I will see y'all next year, though. Peace. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for stopping by. This was amazing. If you're interested in checking out Melty Blood Actress and Current Code, I highly suggest giving this game a really good shot. Oh, yeah. It's Great a Great community. People are always looking for games on Discord. People, you could always go on to uh, Concerto. has lobby features. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. We have Concerto now, so you can actually just do matchmaking now. It's insane how much uh, matchmaking can do. As Prof was mentioning, he's a Melee player. When Melee got rollback and included matchmaking, everyone's fiending for games. So... Give it a check, please. We are at CEO Taku again this year, and there's several other events going on throughout for Actress Again, including online events. So if you can, give it a check. But I just want to say that this game is, uh, you might seem a bit intimidated by what was going on there, all the, the high APM stuff that Roll was putting on, all the high APM from uh, Vakiha. But the thing about this game is that it's really easy to get into. But it's one of those games where if you really put your time to it, you can really master it. Or it can be like me and play Sisei Fuku and just do like one combo until one... Uh, 
Oki set up and you're, you're just good to go. I think the cool thing is there's a lot of characters. Um, if you notice the little moon symbol, probably should have explained that a little more. Um, every character essentially has three versions of them that you can use, so you can always find a way that's more comfortable for you to play. Think, if you're a Mortal Kombat player, think of it like a, a variation from uh, MKX or MK11. It's a lot like that, only you don't have to like customize everything on your own. It's all just like pre-built in. Yeah. Some characters become radically different uh, based on their moon. Their viability is like different based on their moon. Yep. At the same time, though, you can cook with anyone unless you're playing Mecha Orc. <laughs> Please don't play oh. Mecha Orc. Don't play them. <laughs> you say that. I'm about to get cooked the next tournament I enter by Mecha Orc, aren't oh. I? <laughs> You're, you're setting yourself up, okay? <laughs> True. You're going to say that. But if Anyone it was... who wants to watch this and they're going to, like, enter see Yotaku or... Uh, <laughs> I want Arkma front. gone. <laughs> I need him obliterated. Now! But that'll be it for us. I'm Arkma. I'm Rayon. And thank you all again, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.